For quite a while now, Overpass has remained my personal favorite map. So much so in fact, that in 2016, I made a top quality video about it. Overpass is one of my favorite maps. As a team, we are on this map most- It seems to me that Overpass is a map that most would consider average, I guess. I don't see many considering this map as either their favorite, nor one that needs to be rotated out of the map pool. Although I believe it's a difficult map for new or inexperienced players to learn, the journey to mastering the map through training and practice is extremely rewarding. While gathering information for this video, I found a Reddit thread echoing similar thoughts to my own. The post itself is about why Overpass isn't played very much. The two main points that almost every comment mentions are that it's hard to win against a five stack and that the map requires good comms and team coordination to play well. It's hard to argue with these points. Playing this map in matchmaking without a team is just not gonna be a fun time. And I believe that's why most people have come to this conclusion and kind of avoid playing it, which is a shame. The reason I gravitate towards the map is mainly due to my role. An AWP can be extremely dominant, anywhere between Fountain and A site, almost oppressively so, going up against an uncoordinated team. They can either play passive or aggressive Fountain or Connector, then have multiple points to fall back to as the T's take space. Upper toilets or long, Divider and A-side bathrooms are all powerful positions for the AWPA, as well as providing enough options that they can vary what angles they hold to remain unpredictable. The second A player isn't useless here either. The two most common pieces of utility I've seen thrown almost every single round in pro play is this smoke at A ramp and this molly into playground. This is extremely effective at delaying the T push and whether taking that space aggressively or not, it forces the T side to play more cautiously as they attempt to take fountain control. This same point works for both sides. As a T, taking fountain, party and connector is essential for map control, but it doesn't come easy due to the previously mentioned CT side hold. Good coordination and knowledge of smokes and mollies are essential to push back the CTs. A push from connector, as well as utility to deny bathroom angles are required and very costly in terms of the utility used. But when done successfully, it allows the T's to secure such a powerful position to attack either bombsite. This push and pull dynamic for fountain and bathrooms makes for team play that, for lack of a better word, is just really fun to play. Overpass has a lot of depth that is almost essential to learn to play competently. Utility can be thrown from either side of the map to the other site to stop bomb plants or delay pushes. Although there are a few angles or paths to rotate quickly, the map makes up for this with the ability to still be useful to your teammates with the utility. Both sites have four entrances, all easily smoked and mollied. While still being a challenge, it allows retakes to be far less daunting and attempted more often than saving, which although is a smart decision given the situation, leads to far more boring gameplay than the fast paced action that CS is known for. Both on each site, as well as on almost every position of the map, short and long angles are used to ensure AWP and rifles main superior, while still leaving some wiggle room for SMGs and shotguns to be effective when played correctly. And that's my thoughts. Overpass gets a, a thumbs up. It's well designed tactically and looks great visually, especially with the renovation for CS2. Eight years now, I've called it my favorite. Given the current map pool, it's looking to stay that way. We'll see how the new iteration of Cobble goes. Always open for new ideas. And to wrap up the video, I just wanted to ask a bunch of my friends what they thought of the map. I believe I'm probably the only one who thinks it's my favorite and my friends have various thoughts. Just thought it'd be fun to get some other people's ideas. What are your opinions on Dude. the map Overpass? Oh, it's a solid map. It's one of the sort of top three, I guess. We've figured out a lot of stuff on Overpass. Put a lot of effort into just learning smokes for that alone. That sort of stuff, like, as opposed to a map like Nuke, where, yeah, there's a few windows and stuff you can get smokes through outside. Or, or like, Vertigo. I feel like those the smokes for that are very set. You know what I mean? There's very like, little opportunity to find lineups because it's such an enclosed map. So, yeah, I guess there's that aspect that just makes it more fun for me. I don't know, like, we, we're all pretty confident on it, you know? So I think we have, we generally have a better time on Overpass because we are more confident and competent, more so than other maps. So, yeah, it's just a feeling, hey, it's just not as enjoyable as playing on maps like Overpass. 
I don't know, Mirage is still a big one for me. I know people are fucking over it, but Mirage is almost like perfect, really, when you think about it. A map isn't, then you know this as well as I do, or anyone does, very like, it's not the map as a whole. It's all the little intricacies that make the map good. Certain headshot angles or rotation times and shit like that. It's all recipe, I guess, that has to be perfect. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, so I'm kind of, can't multitask. Uh, it's only fun if you use team coordination. It makes it a... Why the fuck? So it's... Yeah, that's how you smoke it. I know I'm not being the best interview E right here. I'm okay with that. Sorry. Uh, uh, oh, I'm really not good at interviews. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look, I feel like something that's been unsaid by a lot of other people when it comes to open pass is the emphasis um, on CTs owning connector control. If Ts don't have connector control, it's practically impossible for them to play between the two sides as the rotation times are too long. Kind of force them to risk all win in terms of connector. Apart from that, having such stationary viewpoints into the maps and to each side makes it quite easy for CTs to hold. I think a lot of other maps, like in large, once you push out as a T, there's a bit of verticality in height. It's that in overpass, but I think as a CT, you can just look the general right direction most of the time, and you'll have most of the people come out when you cross it. You're never really caught with your pants down in many angles. You're kind of more caught slightly looking off to the distance, not behind the back or anything like that. It feels like if you're pushing, a side like choke into bathroom and you got long all right and it's about where do you want to fight and gain control i also feel like having certain smokes that you should have to throw per round is always indicative of a good map but i feel like that's so to blame to how great people are at learning and mastering a map it's a pull on it that's a map's fault that they open up skyboxes and all of a sudden there's a guaranteed molly that makes ct's lives ridiculously easy of course you're going to use it so i don't mind overpasses a map i enjoy that i think it's the closest thing to drop in cobblestone where you can bring a shotgun and still have a lot of impact i feel like shotguns elsewhere excluding maybe mirage be under window have lost a lot of their place in the game Deagles are long range weapons. I'm winning the jewels for a less cost without having reaping that rewards, but money rewards aren't the problem. I also think that the CT rotation has a lot more depth to it. You're right. I think it depends so much on communication of the team. Uh, without team communication, I could pass and it really just falls apart. And it's actually the worst map to play. Uh, I don't mind it because Connector's my home. I love playing Connector. Connector's easy. Oh, I just love it, bro. That's just good. Bring back cash. Mirada should be way down the bottom, but you know. I think mean, it's just a solid map. I mean, well, you don't need to learn it, but you need to understand the rotates. Good aim map. Good I would say map. aim map. Yeah, no, it is an aim map. You can even. Mirage name at yeah it's more of a position map you need to have good positioning by my opinion like, like that's where the good jewels happen mirage is aim but then when you're getting shit on it's like what can you do to win it's aim better exactly <laughs> the overpass is counterplay but like, overpass is more room for nuance and that's fun in my opinion because there's nothing worse than playing a game where you know exactly how it's gonna happen overpass is always a bit of chaos obviously at the start when you play for found and there's different ways to play it on mirage it's like mid control every round i used to hate it i despised overpass it's all right i don't feel strongly about it at all if that makes sense yeah it's just a map i really dislike the angles though on it like the only non-elevated fight is connector really oh, well wow. actually Overpass is, is actually a really easy map if you can. Oh my god, this surf is so shit. Nice. Blue's AFK. Alright, smoke, smoke. Oh, I'm gonna finish con with you. Cold clutch, cold clutch. I'm out of shit, hold it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's kill this guy. Fell back, right? Grab bomb. Yeah, you fell back. Grab bomb. Could be tree. Yeah, I'll grab it. I'm scared about T, to be honest. Deal, there's a net here. Yeah, come. Nice. Nice. No. I'll smoke both nice. side dice. Can someone smoke right side? Nice, Clay. Just need to put. Ah, uh, let's push into bank. Push into bank. Oh, Clay, what is going on, Clay? Oh, 